outfit shares but I thought it's a good um kind of idea of one it's a little early so I'm using my indoor voice but um on a shoot day so I actually been using this rental company called Newly. I just started it um I would highly recommend using it if you are like wanting to spice up your outfits and closets without you know like fully investing i'm wearing this kind of comfy one piece romper and one thing i always do on shoots is one make sure i'm comfortable because i might be moving squatting you know trying to get up high and get some really good um upper shots for whether it's food i want to make sure i either have short sleeves and layers or with in this case like rollable like really easy sleeves to move up if i'm doing hand shots for food um and then of course like pockets is always um is always a benefit if i just need to like throw something in um and then sneakers of course because i will typically be on my feet for a really long day and um i always want to make sure i can like move and jump and just get around quickly um by the way these are everlane and i love them they're a little worn and loved but they're really comfy um to move about in a few things i forgot to mention um important to bring is obviously water stay hydrated um and then, i don't know why but i lately decided to impulse buy these ginger shots which are just like not that great but i bought so many i have to drink them and i feel like they fake my health like improving okay actually that sip wasn't the bad that bad the first one was really bad oh and a watch um if you have one just to keep track of time make sure things are running so you're not looking at the the wall wherever you are um but water and watch is another thing shot is not a needed thing um but that said give me a second Okay, I just recorded a clip and I realized it didn't record. So, Reese, I think my phone is overheating and that's why this video clip is not recording. So I might be talking really fast, but as I'm driving out here, which by the way, this is this area is so gorgeous. I love Hill Country. Um, another question I often get asked is like, how do I get these projects? And like, where do I find my clients? And obviously there's a lot of different resources out there in terms of like outreach and lead generation and things um, specifically I work with a lot of hospitality food agencies that um, Austin Dallas based um, specifically this was a referral from a hospitality agency I work with in Austin and they're great and I work with like restaurants through them in Austin and that's why I did my cocktail shoot and then they referred me um, or I was a referral through um, this Dallas based agency which is also like kind of a uh, hospitality food um, brand agency and it's a great way um, for me to get projects as a photographer and they're always looking you know to work with great photographers to capture photos for their clients and it's no like conflict of interest um, it's just you know doing photography work and so I'm able to work with really great clients through that specific um, outlet to 
the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back A couple dials We should throw them out Because time ain't as well But you feel Ooh, it is a warm one today is so humid but it is saturday i'm at the grocery store kind of looking like a frizzled mess but um i am going to go grocery shopping this has been the craziest uh photography week ever um not ever but i just have so many random projects going on but i love it um and so we're on to food photography i have this um list I have this shot list um it's just a long list of kind of the recipes models um ingredients i need for these uh photos and one thing i've learned is do not go rushed to the grocery store when you're doing food photography because the most ideal grocery trip is when you get all the ingredients in one go but it's really annoying when you go home and you've gotten like nine out of the ten ingredients you need um so really just sitting down and writing out all the um ingredients that you need for a recipe before going to the grocery store kind of triple checking and then it's always nice to have it on pen and paper i think i do it on my phone often but it's really easy to miss you know just because we're looking at the phones all the time so help me brave the saturday grocery storm um and hopefully this is a quick grocery trip so I am picking limes for a recipe and one thing to keep in mind is kind of being accountable for how many you actually need both prop wise and then also photography wise so or cooking wise. So if your recipe calls for, I don't know, three limes, you probably want to get six because you'll need some for, you know, shaving, squeezing shots, um, props or just kind of styling aesthetic things. So. Always make sure that you're, you know, scaling for everything that you need in your shoe. Okay, I am at the grocery store. I'm shopping for this photo shoot. And for anyone that is wondering, um, yes, all clients reimburse the groceries for food photography. Um, no matter what level you are, you should always have your clients be paying for um, anything and everything that you're using in your photo shoot. Um, whether you're starting, for example, a $100 photo shoot and your groceries end up being $90, obviously you're going to want um, the client to cover that food. So um, always make sure you have your receipts, keep your receipts, um, and then uh, just making sure that you have all that documentation because you definitely want to be reimbursed for all the groceries you're buying for food photography. Good morning. It is Sunday and my roommates are sleeping, so I'm going to be a little quiet, but I am getting ready for the final shoot of this week. It is a seafood product, a vegan seafood product, and I have a space rented out and um, getting ready um, and prepping a few things early. I cooked a little bit last night so that we don't have to cook when we're on site. We're just going to get the food out and then we're just going to start shooting. So fingers crossed it goes well. We've got a uh, chocolate glaze, cinnamon sugar, raspberry filled, regular glaze, a blueberry cake, and a sprinkles. Okay, it is 8 a.m. and we are at Target and there is no one here, but honestly, best time to shop. Getting a few last minute props. Trash bags, because I forgot to, but honestly, one place for last minute items that never lets me down is the magnolia section. I know, we love it, we hate it, but it's so good.